What we should do is get the facts out as best we can. Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed says some of our foreign adversaries are spreading misinformation about the coronavirus inside and outside the U.S. To try to cast uh, uh, the United States as uh, the villain and uh, China as the hero, that's not accurate at all. People all around the world should ensure that where they turn to for information uh, is a reliable source. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says Russia, China and Iran are using the pandemic as an opportunity to spread misinformation and cause confusion and fear. Maryland Senator Ben Cardin says the misinformation is par for the course for these countries. We know that the, the leaders are going to uh, put a spin on it uh, to, to serve their their own interests. The world needs facts. The world needs to understand uh, what's going on. State Department spokesperson Morgan Ortegas says China has gone so far as to blame the U.S. for the virus. We will continue to call out the Chinese Communist Party when they spread conspiracy theories online instead of taking responsibility for their own actions at the beginning of this pandemic. Michael Fuchs with the Center for American Progress says as the world battles the virus, health officials need facts, not lies. Can in fact be deadly if it's disinformation. Fuchs says the best defense for the world at large is the truth. That is the most powerful uh, um, uh, weapon that we have right now. Reporting in Washington, I'm Morgan Wright.